two, three. for Gemini, Libras, Aquarius. How y'all doing? Um, what was I finna say? Um, let me let me just do this. Um, <laughs> Mimi, aka the Pisces here, and this is your weekly reading, okay? Like and subscribe if you get anything out of this, and thank you to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment, okay? CEO was playing before this, and so you getting these divine nudges that are helping you get into your CEO flow, okay? Yes, at the bottom of the deck, you're getting guided by love, okay? <laughs> but I did a pre-pull. Um, God, Archangels, Ancestors, Ascended Masters, all beings of light only, you're welcome into this reading. Please give the air signs the best and most accurate information for them at this time, okay? Pay attention to the things that you're hearing. You're seeing a lot of magical shit right now, okay? You could be seeing, like, orbs all over the place and just, you know swearing you put this here and it's over there okay a lot of magical things could be happening to you that's what i'm getting from this um divine nudges card which i'm gonna read in a minute but first i'm gonna look these i'm gonna look at these in the book and see what kind of other stuff they're saying okay but um this one says weave your web okay so like i said they're sending you these divine nudges to get you into this CEO flow. They were, they're helping you to weave a better web, okay? Body as an earthly temple. So you could be treating your body really well, okay? Also calling on your courage. You could be um, very courageous right now too, okay? Just speaking your mind, not really letting nobody punk or walk all over you anymore. That could have been a thing for you, okay? So, this first one is Weave Your Web. Okay, so it says, Holy Creature, Weaver of Webs, okay? Don't forget that you are the writer of your own story. Yes, you are a, a Niger, okay? It's either Niger or Niger. I think it's Niger, though. You're a Niger, okay? You are um, being taught to wield the fabrics of time and space. So, you know, you are a, a weaver of webs, okay? Um, it says the world we live in is... Um, the whole, let me help, let me, let me start over. Okay. <laughs> the world we live in is the whole world. Wait, the world we live in is the world we've written. Okay. And often if we're disconnected from our creative power, we don't even realize we are the writers. Sometimes we carry the stories of the generations that came before us that weave into our reality. But dear soul, you are too bright to feel bound by worlds of the past. Your story is far too powerful, unique, and expansive um, to have been written before. You know, I was saying that kind of to the earth signs that um, there's a lot of people come here with ancestral karma. You know, we're all in different places in our spiritual journey, okay? So, yes, yeah, some of the readers are on a, on a, they're ahead of you in their spiritual journey, you know? So, okay, just... Take it one step at a time, all right? Um, make sure that you're just taking from these readings whatever is yours, you know, what applies to your area in your journey, okay? It doesn't, like, you know, it. you have to remember this is for a lot of people, okay? So make sure you're always using your discernment, okay? And um, not weaving things into your web that you don't need. <laughs> Gratitude spirit. Um, sometimes we carry, yeah, 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 okay. Your story is too powerful, unique, and expansive to have been to have been written before. You are here to create your life and um, live your unique truth. For your creativity is beyond measure. If something in your life feels disempowering, um, or is causing unnecessary struggle, or feels limiting in any way, then it's time to reweave. You are not the victim of your life, but the creator, okay? So you manifest, and you need to um, walk around believing in your, the power of your manifestations, okay? Because that's like 
your superpower. Like, your real, real superpower is that you manifest. Okay. I'm about to just find them. Okay, so body as earthly temple. Okay, so it says your sacred and beautiful earthly body is calling to you, dear one, asking you to pay attention to its needs for care and nourishment. Okay, so make sure that you're listening to your body. Okay, eating what your body is craving. Just listen to your body. Your body knows exactly what it needs. Okay, you are very... Um, advanced being okay your body really can talk to you also your body responds to you talking to it you are a person okay you require all the attention like all the love and attention you would give to another person you know like to your child or you know to someone you're taking care of you need to give yourself that same care okay that same love and attention these twisties is on my nerves okay what else? Your body may be trying to get your attention through imbalances, hormonal shifts, or illness, fatigue, or little aches and pains. Okay, so um, um, there's like certain pains in your body are connected to chakras and all kinds of things. That's why it's important to know about the chakra system. You know, people are always like, you know, oh, they feel like their body has nothing to do with their spiritual journey but it's like your body has everything to do with it the way that you treat yourself treat your body is how you start that's the first step to attracting what you want to attract in this life you know is accepting that you know you're on this certain status and you're important you know but you have to treat yourself like the important being you're trying to be seen as it's like the first step okay so make sure that you take care of yourself it says your spiritual self does not exist outside of the body. Your body is the sacred temple of your soul for your soul to manifest its healing and potential, okay? Your body is calling for a deeper love and connection now. You may wish to explore a new form of body work like yoga or other movement practice um, or try intuitive eating or change up something in your diet to accommodate um, for changes you are moving through spiritually. Um, anything that is manifesting physically is just showing you the pathway to greater healing, okay? Your relationship with your body is the most important relationship you will form in this life. Listening and being in tune with your body temple will guide you into deeper healing and practice, okay? And it will because I do all kinds of things I didn't do before, okay? <laughs> like, um, I... I always like to eat like pretty healthy things, but um, I'm just like way more in tune with the things that I put into my body now, you know? I mean, I, some of us have sweet tooth and all kinds of things like that, but even, even eating sweets is good for your body because when you eat sweets, you know, and things that, that a child would be attracted to, you're feeding your inner child, okay? <laughs> so um, just, you have to... Um, Make your intentions start to match the things that you're doing, you know, just um, intuitively adding, you know, cilantro to your meal because, you know, it's good for you is doing something for you. I hope y'all got that. I hope that made sense. OK, um, so the last one is calling on your courage. Um, so often we hide from our fears instead of going toward them. But this only gives more power to that which we fear. I woke up this morning like I'm a ball late night to the morning, okay? So they want you to be more like, you know, like I'm gonna just wake up like I'm gonna ball all day, okay? And then go do it because you're spiritually rich, okay? You can, you can still enjoy life. That's what they want me to tell you, okay? Anyways, it says um, the suppression of Fear creates control, anger, and the division within and without. 
So little do we know that on the other side of the gate of our fear are our greatest potentials, highest calling and opportunities for more love, okay? For more love and prosperity, this card is a message that there are fears that you are ready to face in your life, okay? So do some shadow work, okay? Face some of your old fears, you know? Um, Sometimes, I mean, just acknowledge it. Like, acknowledging things is powerful because once you acknowledge it, God can heal that thing now, okay? So don't be afraid to face things that, you know, you've gone through before and people be walking around like, you know, like there's nothing, like <laughs> there's nothing. I, I was doing the same thing. Like there's nothing that I need to heal from, but like so many things have boiled up, you know, things that you don't, you didn't even realize was trauma. Things you didn't even realize affected you. They affected you so much. Okay. So, um, just pay attention to the divine nudges that you're getting. Okay. To the things that God's pointing at, you know, um, even you could be watching TV, the things that piss you off when you're watching TV, you know, <laughs> or the things that like you remember it and you'll be like, that was some bullshit, you know, shit like that is like, there's a lot of, um, fears and things in that, like, um, there's a lot of fear behind anger. There's usually fear behind anger. Okay. So if something pisses you off, then look at that thing more objectively and figure out what is the fear? What's the underlying fear there? Okay. Yes. Follow your divine nudges that you're getting. Cause they're, they're, they're trying to clear you of all of this old energy, you know, that some of it's yours, some of it's your ancestors, you know, they're trying to show you you're weaving this web, okay? And so we're bringing these things to your attention so that you can weave the web you're supposed to be weaving, okay? We don't need no extra sections in the web because then it's not going to be right, okay? It's going to be catching shit we didn't mean to catch, you know? <laughs> like, maybe the flies fly over there and, you know, we like, we like to eat the mosquitoes, you know, <laughs> in our web. Okay, don't build this extra web over here and be catching flies when you're when you're hunting for mosquitoes. Okay, that was interesting. <laughs> okay, so anyways, synchronicities um, and so-called coincidences are a clear sign that spirit is knocking at your door. These blessings and signs of grace are not just mere coincidences, but are evidence that you are and always will be connected to spirit. Spirit working through synchronicity can manifest in some unique ways. Some people refer to these occurrences as divine nudges. Examples of this include hearing the same phrase from more than one person in a day or identical numbers repeatedly showing up in your life, you know. Um, have you met an individual out of the blue who seemed to answer a question that you were just asking yourself, these are all signs for you to pause, be open and pay attention. And most importantly, to acknowledge that spirit is sending you a message. When you're delivering, um, developing your spiritual abilities, spirit knows how you need to develop and evolve and will continue to steer you in the direction for your highest good, okay? You may not always follow spirit's prompts but you'll still be continually and gently nudged forward. By following the prompts and guidance, you'll notice how more people, situations, and synchronicities start to appear in your life. The more you begin to notice these meaningful divine nudges, the easier it is for them to multiply and give you spiritual guidance. Be open to synchronistic signs, welcome them and act on them accordingly, for these are signs that spirit is there to guide and help you, okay? So yeah, that's what they're doing. They're just around guiding you, helping you, being like, being like, look over there, babe. Look, what's that right there? You know, just pay attention to the things that Spirit's bringing to your attention, okay? Because they're guiding you somewhere very specific. And if you're not paying attention, you can miss a lot of things. But, I mean, they send you the same um, the same messages over and over again, okay? Um, watch your temperament, okay? Make sure you're not being rude to people. Um, you might be getting married, too. Because um, the song Rude... Um, He's like, why you gotta be so rude? And he's like, can I have your daughter for the rest of my life? Say yes, say yes, cause I need to know. Um, the ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you. It's not happening to you, okay? So um, you might, look, you're just going through a transformation right here at the bottom of the deck. Um, it might seem like 
um, there's a lot of things happening to you right now. And you're just like, oh, this is bullshit, you know, but it gets a little messy, okay, before it gets like, before it gets to a place where it feels like order, okay? Trust your path. <laughs> God, through the spirit. Trust the path that you're on. Yes, it feels messy, but um, it's all for you, okay? You're learning to dance with life right now, okay? You have to find it's a dance, okay? It's really complicated at times, but it is. You know, meant to be a graceful dance. It's a dance you've done a thousand times before in your lifetimes, okay, air signs. It's it's for you. It's all for you. It's all for you if you really want it. I don't know the words to that song, okay? It's all for you. That's Janet Jackson, though. This is the age of light, okay? So that's what you're doing, okay? You're just building up your power as a priestess. You could be a priest or a priestess, okay? You can refer to yourself as that. You're a mystic, though, a teacher, okay? You um, absorb lots of information all the time. And a lot of your divine nudges are coming through with that information that you're absorbing. Okay, you just pay more attention. How can you mother yourself? So that's what it was saying earlier too. Make sure you're mothering yourself, giving the love that you need to give to your body and have you answered your deepest calling. You know, a lot of people walk around doing jobs that they think that they want to do um, for the rest of their life and really they don't. They just never took the time to be quiet enough to hear what their intuition is telling them that they want to do, okay? The crumbling, what are you clinging to? Like if things seem to be crumbling, just let them fucking crumble and fall, air signs. Trust me, you'll be better for it. But I know that, um, that's easier said than done for the air signs, okay? You guys think you guys be in your heads like okay you guys be in your heads and also um the people that you guys really care about you guys will stick your whole neck your whole body your everything out for that person so spirit saying do that for yourself okay learn to wait learn to say no learn to pause okay take a break okay <laughs> Um, a life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill, okay? That's what they're talking about. How you might have, you might find yourself having to sit down, okay? Now that you're really into your spiritual journey, you could be feeling very homesick, okay? Like you don't belong now with these people that you're around. Um, but spirits just trying to bring all of this all of these things to your attention you know and they only have so much time to do it you know we're all on our own like schedule okay we have a schedule to keep our souls do our souls have a schedule to keep there's a very specific timeline of things happening around us right now so just do what you're supposed to be doing. Just do your part, okay? It might seem like your part is not that important, but you just, you're at the laundromat. <laughs> Why did laundromat come on? You're at the laundromat, okay? Ooh, what'd she say? Um, let's not forget the, okay, she just named everything that goes in the laundromat, okay? <laughs> Wait, let me see, let me, let me see. Let me turn on the, um... I mean, it's just really, it's a song about her boyfriend cheating on her, you know. Use the lying, cheating, son of a, the way you do me. Boy, I'm tired of taking your shit. See, I know all about those fast hoes up in college. You could have went through this. <laughs> There's something like this. But none of this is the point. I'm waiting for it to get to the, to the chorus part so I can tell you. But um, your laying the foundations of your divine plan right now so don't worry about nothing like it's gonna seem like crazy okay you're gonna run into these uh these crazy things like you're gonna run into a lot of situations where you feel triggered you know or you feel like <coughs> like some type of way about what you're seeing but um the point is to learn to control your emotions you have complete control over your emotions okay um you know 
because your thoughts follow your emotions, okay? Your emotions create your thoughts and your thoughts manifest, okay? <laughs> That's exactly how manifestation works, okay? You're you're imagining this thing that's going on with it. My bad. Okay, she's like, let's not forget the food stains, dirt spots, headsets, and all of that shit, okay? That goes on with laundry. So let me go back to what I was saying earlier that um, this is all a part of your awakening, okay? All of these cleaning, getting every little stain and every little thing, every little drop, okay? All your guidance right now is divinely guided. So you don't have anything to worry about. Which made me forget the other shit that I was saying about getting, okay, I was saying <laughs> about getting um, things mirrored to you or um, that are triggering you. Those things are only triggering you to, for you to be like, hmm, for you to align your life. Look, <laughs> what is not aligned or needs to change, okay? Anything that's triggering you or bothering you at this time is just something that you need to pay more attention to, Okay. So just do that. Pay attention to that. Your clear audience is hella strong. Just listen to whatever spirit's telling you, okay? What is there to talk about? You didn't hurt me time again. Brought me up and bring me down. So don't let don't let the old people in. Don't let the past people in. Spirit like ain't shit to talk about. <laughs> okay? Trust your divine nudges because your divine nudges are also telling you to get rid of people. They want you to call on the courage inside of you to share your voice about the things that get on your nerve that does not belong into in your future world. You need to use your voice and start speaking your world into existence but also you need to use your voice and tell bitches that don't love you to get the fuck on because that's a part of self-love too yeah because you have all the power to set intentions in your life okay yeah trust your intuitions and downloads okay look they're coming from god okay <laughs> surrender to god okay and really embrace the healing energy they're sending you right now <laughs> fire the whole first row just came out as confirmation pants and socks dirty towels why do they all keep jumping on the floor <sighs> Okay, so courage and bravery, okay? That, like I said, they're waking up your courage to tell motherfuckers no. No, I can't. Why you can't do that? It's all a part of spiritual growth, okay? A wise man once told me the first step towards change is awareness. The second step is acceptance. Are you aware of the changes that are happening around you? Are you willing to accept the change that is upon us? Okay, so you're going through a lot of inner child healing right now. Joy and contentment is coming to you. Once it comes, it comes. You got like a toothache right now. You could have ate too many sweets yesterday like me. Okay, <laughs> say yes to spirit. That's all you have to do. Say yes to these divine nudges and ideas. Okay, don't be afraid to try new things. It's all a part of the sacred plan, okay? Strength and guidance, okay? There's strength in your guidance. Trust it. <laughs> I think they done. <laughs> yeah, ask and receive. If you need help, you know, pray about it. Ask God, ask your angels, ask your ancestors to do things. Everything that's supposed to be yours is coming in divine time, okay? Look, it's all divine time. Let's get one more. Yeah, stay grounded. Make sure that you get grounded, okay? If you don't if you don't want to go outside and put your feet in the dirt or the grass or whatever, okay? Um you can still just uh what can you do? My bad. I'm trying to fix my shirt. You can just um, do a grounding meditation. Grounding meditations work too. And just remember that everything you've been going through, okay, it's all learning experiences, okay, air signs. You're only going through things to learn these lessons. And it could feel like everything's picking up. You know, the lessons are picking up and they're like back to back to back. But that's because spirits you're close to being ready okay spirits trying to get you ready before your time 
you know, to be ready, okay? So don't worry about nothing. And I'm done. And I hope you have a fabulous, wonderful, and amazing day. And I'll see you later.